All right, guys, what we're going to be doing right now, we're going to call this the shelter-in-place comfort dinner. Right now, I want to be preparing some buttermilk biscuits. To catch you up to date, I'll put the recipe below for my buttermilk biscuits. It is a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of baking powder. We're going to use two cups of flour, three quarter cups of the buttermilk, seven of these teaspoons of butter. We'll get to, into all of that and a uh, two teaspoons of sugar and one tablespoon of salt and uh, what do you say uh, I set you up and you can watch me do this alright I'm all set to put my uh, flour in you guys are gonna want to use cold butter because uh, you're gonna be using your hands on this and if it's uh, too soft your butter most of the stuff is gonna be sticking to your fingers and you kinda don't want that Got our uh, butter here. Got a knife. Cut these uh, two guys off here. My wife's handing me ingredients I already have. Oh. All you right. got salt? No, that's all already in there. Oh. So, nice cubed portion of butter. Another one. Just a lot easier to work with in smaller pieces. There. And uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stick our hands in. We're going in, people. We're going in. You're going to take this and you're just going to squish this. What we're going to do is we're going to try to mix all of this up. And what we're going to look for is when we squeeze it, it want, you want it to pack together. You want it to look like a meal. So uh, meal as in cornmeal. So uh, let's do this. And it doesn't take much. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Now that is a good meal. As in texture. Alright, so we get rid of our knife, get rid of all of our spoons, and uh, we don't need to put this away yet. Oh, uh, I only use the Dean's buttermilk. That's three quarter cups of buttermilk. Take a little plastic. Now you don't have to stick your hands in there for that. You can just mix it and knead it. It'll uh, start to absorb all that buttermilk really quickly. Alright, so let's see. See my hand, yeah. So it's very cold, which means it's still very moist. But that's where the final step takes care of all of that. Little, put it on here. Around. Take your mixture here. And all the Flip it. You don't want to work this dough too much. Just enough to make sure that it's uh, mixed enough where it's not going to fall apart on you when you go to cut your biscuits. And cutting your biscuits is uh, not a big deal. Alright, then we'll rinse my hands. This is what I'm going to use as my biscuit cutter. Get my cookie sheet out. I'm going to need that. So, I'm going to flour the edge. See that? Put a flour in there. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Transfer these to the cookie sheet, and then we'll uh, lay out our dough again. And 
just a little more flour in here. I want this about a half inch thick, you know, before you start cutting because you gotta figure the biscuits are gonna rise. And uh, they do a pretty good job of that, I must say. I think I might get two more biscuits out of this. We'll see. Alright. There are my biscuits. My oven's set for 450. There's one step I haven't showed you yet, but I'm going to show you right now. We need to brush the tops of our biscuits with some buttermilk here. Cooks up nice and golden brown. Yummy. Now in the oven for 17 to 20 minutes. We'll set our timer. Start with 17. All right, I got some downtime, so you know what time it is. What? It's uh, Guinness time. Oh yeah. I still got 11 minutes on my biscuits there, but oh, there we are. But as you can see, let me see if I can turn you around here. Anyway, my mess is cleaned up, so it doesn't take long. So yeah, let me pour, oh, hear that? That carbonation ball in that can. stuff so yeah I'll be back when uh, when the timer rings that's gonna be part of my dinner that right there what else oh yeah Got the mini cowbeds here mmm I was gonna have chicken breast but guess what I didn't buy any chicken breast so I'll go out tomorrow and buy those. So what I'll have instead are these Archer Farm Buffalo style wings. Fully cooked, all I gotta do is heat them up. No antibiotics ever. No added hormones and no steroids. Mmm, so that looks pretty good. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll keep you updated. All right, let's work our rice. By the way, I only cook in iron. Let that melt down. But I don't want it to turn brown. Just want it to melt, so we reduce our heat here. When you want a brown rice, uh, you don't want to start with brown butter. You kind of just want the process to happen naturally while it's browning the rice. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, so now we'll start browning our rice. Get ourselves a little uh, spatula or spatula, whatever you want to call it. I actually call it a spatula, but uh, check the spelling. It's actually spatula. So yeah, let me work on this for a while. All right, I got to get my glove on. Because I'm going in. These things are done. Uh. 
All right. Let me get them off that pan so I can stop that cooking. All right, biscuits are done, which I'm about ready to sample one of them. Corn's in. Rice is underway. Let's reduce that heat there. Cover that. Give it about 20 minutes. It's all about the timing, fellas. You got some buffalo wings in there. Should be done exactly the same time as those two. So in the meantime, I'm going to try a biscuit. That's a good biscuit. Cook's discretion. All right, let's peek at our rice. And it's getting there. It's getting there. What? We still got 14 minutes. Okay. Oh my God. What? The waiting is the hardest part. Five more minutes on the chicken wings. Rice is already done. Corn's probably done too. Uh, it's tough waiting. Anyway, this uh, is evaporating too quickly. But that's good stuff. It really is. Mm, one more drink. All right. Time's ticking down. They're probably done. As a matter of fact, I know they're done. They were fully cooked when they went in there. They're in there sizzling. Oh, yeah. Listen. Mmm. Those rest just for a couple minutes there. And, uh, yeah. Yummy. Look at that reflection in the toaster. All right, guess what? It's time to eat. Mm -mm. All right, I'll see you after dinner. This is what hunker down looks like. Bored? Are you are you a little bored? But you wish we were in school right now, huh? I think I want to go outside here. It's about thirty-seven degrees. Very nice. Gonna have a cigar and a coffee. Just enjoy the evening. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, oh, there he is. He's up on the wire. I hear him. Morning dove. Why do they call him morning dove? Because it is the afternoon. He's out doing his thing still. Mm-hmm. Very quiet. One of the benefits of the shelter in place, again, voluntarily, because if I get bored, I will be going out, and I have been out. Beautiful evening. So, yeah, I guess I'll wrap this video up. Hey, guys, be safe out there. Thanks for watching my videos.